I got the price I deserved. And when I first started buying Bitcoin, I was buying it at $9,500. But that's okay. I'll buy it at $95,000. And then I'll be buying it at $950,000. And when it gets to $950,000, there'll be some whiny person, a talking head on television, saying it looks over, overbought right now. It looks a little bit heated. I, you know, we think it's going to trade down to $700,000. And they'll miss it. It'll go to $8 million. And they'll buy it at $8 million. And they will get Bitcoin at the price they deserve. Imagine a world where Bitcoin isn't just a speculative asset, but a fundamental cornerstone of the global financial system. Despite recent fluctuations, Bitcoin's trajectory towards becoming a dominant financial force remains unshaken. This vision is shared by Michael Saylor, a renowned entrepreneur and business executive who remains exceedingly bullish on the leading cryptocurrency. Saylor, a proud Bitcoin maximalist, believes Bitcoin is about to enter a gold rush decade that will see it go from a scorned asset to one that graces the portfolios of every individual investor, institution, sovereign fund, and nation-state worldwide. Despite Bitcoin briefly dipping below $65,000 this week, Saylor's conviction is unwavering. He predicts that Bitcoin's value will surge exponentially, driven by its inherent scarcity and growing adoption. According to Saylor, this transformative period, which he says began with the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs in January, will continue until 2034, when 99% of Bitcoin's total supply will have been mined. At this point, the global population will scramble for the remaining 1%, pushing Bitcoin's price to unimaginable heights. Saylor recently articulated this vision during his powerful presentation at the 2024 Bitcoin Proc Conference, titled 21 Rules of Bitcoin. These rules outline why Bitcoin is criticized, studied, and ultimately embraced as a valuable asset. Saylor's journey from skeptic to one of Bitcoin's most vocal advocates underscores his deep understanding and belief in the cryptocurrency's potential. Saylor's journey with Bitcoin began around seven years ago, when he was a critic, even predicting in a 2013 Twitter post that Bitcoin would end up like online gambling. At that time, Bitcoin was less than $900 per coin. However, after thorough research, Saylor's perspective shifted dramatically. In 2020, he bought over 17,000 Bitcoins for his personal portfolio at around $9,500 per coin. His steadfast belief in Bitcoin's potential has only grown stronger, and he now predicts that Bitcoin could reach a staggering $8 million per coin in the future. When I first started buying Bitcoin, I was buying it at $9,500, Saylor said. But that's okay, I'll buy it at $95,000, and then I'll be buying it at $950,000. And when it gets to $950,000, there will be some whiny person, a talking head on television saying it looks overbought right now, it looks a little bit heated. I think it's going to trade down to $700,000, and they'll miss it. It will go to $8 million, and they will get Bitcoin at the price they deserve. One of the key drivers of Bitcoin's anticipated growth is institutional adoption. Saylor envisions a future where Bitcoin becomes a staple in the portfolios of individual investors, institutions, sovereign funds, and nation states. This trend is already underway with major financial institutions and corporations allocating portions of their portfolios to Bitcoin. The approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs marks a significant milestone making it easier for institutional investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin without dealing with the complexities of buying and storing the cryptocurrency directly. This increased accessibility is expected to drive more institutional money into Bitcoin, further boosting its price. As the founder and executive chairman of MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor has not only invested personally in Bitcoin, but has also led his company to accumulate a substantial Bitcoin reserve. MicroStrategy's bold strategy of converting a significant portion of its cash reserves into Bitcoin has set a precedent for other corporations. This move reflects Saylor's deep-seated belief in Bitcoin as a superior store of value compared to traditional fiat currencies. MicroStrategy's Bitcoin holdings serve as a hedge against inflation and currency devaluation, aligning with Saylor's view that Bitcoin is digital gold. The company's continued investment in Bitcoin underscores its long-term confidence in the cryptocurrency's potential.
Bitcoin's potential is not limited to its role as a digital store of value. The broader crypto ecosystem, including decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens, is driving innovation and expanding the use cases for blockchain technology. Bitcoin, as the original cryptocurrency, play a foundational role in this ecosystem. The rise of DeFi platforms allows for decentralized lending, borrowing, and trading, creating a parallel financial system that operates without traditional intermediaries. Bitcoin is often used as collateral in these platforms, further integrating it into the global financial system. Sayer emphasizes that true Bitcoin protection involves a comprehensive approach. This includes thoroughly educating oneself about Bitcoin, making significant investments in it, and ensuring full control over one's private keys and coins. It's not enough to merely dip a toe in the water, a full-bodied commitment is necessary. According to Saylor, having the majority of your portfolio in traditional assets like bonds, stocks, or FI currencies exposes you to significant risks, as these assets could potentially lose all value amidst financial turmoil. Saylor's $8 million price prediction for Bitcoin is rooted in his philosophy of investing in the chaos. He argues that when you save money in a bank or invest in fiat currencies, stocks, real estate, or art, you are essentially loaning your money to external entities, be it governments, companies, cities, or cultural institutions. These entities are subject to the unpredictability and chaos of the world, which can significantly impact the value of your investments. Bitcoin is powered by chaos, Saylor explains. By investing in Bitcoin, you are essentially betting that chaos and entropy will outpace the stability and efficiency of cities, companies, and governments. In a chaotic world, Bitcoin stands as a resilient store of value, immune to the whims of central authorities and the destructive forces of financial mismanagement. To illustrate his point, Saylor presents a historical scenario. Imagine you were in Europe before World War II with substantial capital. You could invest in land, buildings, companies, art, or currencies in any European nation. However, as the war, a metaphor for extreme chaos and entropy, unfolds, these investments become highly precarious. Land can be seized or destroyed, buildings can be bombed, companies can collapse, and currencies can devalue. Alternatively, if you had invested in a Swiss bank which holds the money of all the combatants, your wealth would be preserved and even grow amidst the chaos. The more destruction and turmoil, the more valuable the safe haven becomes. Similarly, Bitcoin, with its decentralized and secure nature, serves as a modern-day equivalent of that Swiss bank, offering protection and growth potential in a chaotic financial landscape. Saylor emphasizes that Bitcoin is unique because it is the first asset in human history that you can truly own. Bitcoin is information manifested as economic value underpinned by a durable, decentralized, and ethically sound network. Unlike traditional assets that can be expropriated, taxed, or regulated out of existence, Bitcoin remains untouchable by any central authority. Its value only increases over time due to its inherent scarcity and the continuous chaos in the financial system. Bitcoin is the one thing in the universe that you can truly own, Saylor asserts. As chaos and entropy escalate, the value of Bitcoin continues to rise, making it an indispensable part of any forward-thinking investment strategy. Saylor's own journey with Bitcoin serves as a powerful example. Initially a skeptic, he famously tweeted in 2013 that Bitcoin's days were numbered. At that time, Bitcoin was priced at $892. However, after recognizing its potential, Saylor began buying Bitcoin at $9,500 in 2020. He now confidently asserts that he will continue to buy Bitcoin at any price, even at $950,000, predicting it will eventually reach $8 million per coin. This shift from skepticism to conviction highlights the importance of overcoming fear, uncertainty, and doubt to fully embrace Bitcoin's potential. Saylor believes that everyone will buy Bitcoin at the price they deserve, which is determined by their ability to see its value and act on it decisively. As Bitcoin continues to gain acceptance and adoption, its role in the global financial system is set to expand. With the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs and the increasing recognition of Bitcoin as digital gold, significant milestones are being achieved. Influential figures like Michael Saylor are leading the charge, advocating for Bitcoin as a vital hedge against financial instability and chaos. 
Investors looking for long-term opportunities should consider Bitcoin's potential. Despite its volatility, the fundamental drivers of Bitcoin's value, scarcity, security, and increasing adoption remain robust. Sailor's predictions, backed by thorough research and a clear vision, suggest that those who invest in Bitcoin now will likely reap substantial rewards in the future. Bitcoin's journey is far from over and its potential is only beginning to be realized.